today we are going to discuss about fertilization fertilization is the fusion of ovum and sperm okay and this fertilization of ovum by sperm usually occurs in the ampulla of uterine tube okay it is occurring in the ampulla of uterine tube and this fertilization basically involves four step first is chemo attraction of the sperm by the substances released from the ovum second one is adherence to zona pellucida sperm will go and adhere to zona pellucida the next step is penetration of zona pellucida by sperm and the final step is the adherence of sperm to the cell membrane of ovum that is the fusion of cell membrane of sperm and the cell membrane of ovum these are the basically basic four steps in the fertilization process now we will discuss a little bit about ovum this is granulosa cells this is zona pellucida okay and this is our ovum the first step is chemo attraction the sperm the sperm is chemo attracted by substances released from the ovum and sperm moves towards the ovum and the first step is penetration of the granulosa cells this granulosa cells is penetrated by the sperm by the release of enzyme hyaluronidase and the particular hyaluronidase is ps20 okay simply this hyaluronidase enzyme will penetrate this granulosa cells and this granulosa cells layer of granulosa cells is also called as cumulus after penetrating the granulosa cell sperm reach the zona pellucida sperm reach the zona pellucida and bind to the proteins known as jp3 it is a receptor jp3 present on the zona pellucida and sperm bind to the jp3 receptors on present on the zona pellucida jp zona pellucida 3 and on binding to the jp3 receptor it induces acrosomal reactions that is uh, release of the enzymes like acrosin okay which are present in the acrosome of the sperm after this the sperm then binds to a second protein known as jp2 that is also present on zona zona pellucida and this leads to penetration of sperm through zona pellucida on binding to jp3 a chromosomal reaction starts and on binding to jp2 it will lead to the penetration of the zona pellucida and sperm will reach to the ovum cell membrane and then sperm fusion to ovum membrane will occur and it is mediated basically by a protein known as fertilin it is present on the head of the sperm okay present on the surface of the sperm head and uh, it resembles the viral fusion proteins it resembles the viral fusion proteins that uh, permit and that helps viruses to attack some cells okay as we have seen in hiv so this fertilin is resembling to the those proteins which are present on the viral virus the virus which helps in the fusion of viruses with different cells so the fertilin is mediating the fusion of ovum membrane to the membrane of the sperm and on this penetration the sperm membrane fuses with the membrane of ovum and after this fusion g protein coupled receptor get activated and particularly gq type of g protein coupled receptor activated which will lead to the activation of phospholipase c which will lead to the formation of ip3 and ip3 leads to the calcium release okay and this calcium causes exocytosis of the cortical granules and this cortical granules contains certain enzymes which get released when exocytosis will occur and this enzyme uh, bring out changes in jp3 and jp2 so that other sperm cannot bind to the jp2 and jp3 and this method helps to prevent the polyspermy okay so this this is all about the fertilization thanks for watching